Hello, I'm Sean, and I'm sitting here with Mr. Addison Randall. Thank you for sitting down with me. My pleasure, Sean. So, uh, Addison, what exactly do you do? That's a good question. It's a question I've asked myself many things. I started off, uh, well, I was born into the industry, so I started And the industry being? The film industry. Film industry. Um, my grandfather was a producer, Hal mm -hmm. Roach. My dad was a, a Western star. Bob Livingston, he, uh, he did a lot of stuff at uh, Republic Studios. He was one of their big, big stars for a while. So I sort of had to end up getting into the industry through my family, mm -hmm. although I was always given the chance to uh, do whatever I wanted, but I sort of, you know, followed daddy's footsteps and became an actor. Right. And uh, he always told me to... Uh, look at the director's chair, mm. which I did, and uh, eventually I ended up uh, directing uh, features for uh, PM Entertainment and producing with, uh, producing with my wife uh, our small uh, independent things now that we have the uh, ability to do things like that. Right. So what do I do? Yes. <laughs> I've produced, I've directed, uh, I've acted. Uh, uh -huh. I've been a stuntman, I've been a PA, I've been a gaffer, I've been a grip. So do you like uh, producing your own films or getting coffee for the producers better? Well, sometimes getting coffee for the producer is a better gig because once I've gotten the coffee for the producer, I'm going to lie down and take a nap. That's true, that's true. <laughs> and but, uh, so, so how has your um, education led you? In, did you have any educational influence uh, going into the industry? Oh, sure. Um, some of my, my biggest education came from Valley College. Uh, I had some incredible acting instructors there at their theater department. Uh, I learned, I had a chance to learn uh, method, technique, uh, oration. I mean, it was, it was when, when you learned the art of acting by doing theater. You don't have to do that anymore, and I think, I think the, the acting uh, business has suffered for it. Everybody thinks that because they have a camera, they're an actor, and that's not true. Right. Uh, you have to learn the basics. And it even comes across uh, for directors, too. They think that they can direct. With Absolutely. Um, so do you have any uh, advice for students that uh, have hopes to become an actor or director or that are attending college or maybe out, <laughs> outside of the workforce? Sounds rather cliche, but stay in school. And... and yeah. Listen, listen, just because you've got a camera that can make pictures of you and things like that, don't think that that makes you uh, the next Spielberg or anything like that. This is a tough business. Uh, listen, observe, um, and, and just because, you know, some guy's older doesn't mean he doesn't know what's going on. And there must be a reason that if he's gotten anywhere in this business, there's a reason for it. And it's because he knows, or she, knows how to work with people. And that's the biggest thing in this business that you, you've got to have. You've got to know how to work with people. Because everybody asks the question, are you somebody I want to work with for 12 hours a day? And if you're not, get out of the business. You know, go, go uh, flip burgers or be a lawyer or, you know, whatever. But don't be in this business because this is a business of relationships. It's a business of uh, interaction, and uh, you know, people are spending a lot of time close together, doing things that are extremely emotional. And uh, you know, if you can't handle that, this is not your business. If you could go back uh, to the early days of your career, what's one thing that you would change about your career goals or your your process in getting to this? Point? I wouldn't have gotten married. Mm -hmm. uh, it was something that I shouldn't have done. Uh, it got me off the track, but once you, because in this business, once you're on that track, you need to stay on that track. You need to spend as much time as you can promoting yourself in your business. Uh, this is a business of me, me, me. Um, I'm here to promote myself because I want somebody else to hire me. You know? uh, and you're constantly doing that. You're constantly looking for the next job. Even when you're working, you're always looking for the next job. And you can't let something get in the way of that if you're serious about this business. Mm -hmm. So I would say I, my big mistake was getting married because it took me off that 
took me off that line. Okay. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure, Sean. As always. Yes, definitely.